I'm getting the hang of this, hang of this. All right, so problem number seven. All right, so problem number seven is based upon this pendulum move. All right, so from a bridge. So the jumpers file 70 feet. These guys are moving at 78 miles per hour. What's the final projectile motion speed? What is the final projectile motion speed? And then convert the final speed to miles per hour. Okay, so. All right, so I'm going to visualize it for you guys. So what do we have? It's a pendulum move. These guys are going down. And then their harness snaps. And then boom, splash down. Okay, so we know that these guys were going at 78 miles per hour right here. So they do have an initial speed in that direction. So yeah, this is too bad. All right, so what else do we know? They're gonna fall 70 feet. All right, so this is the distance that these guys are gonna fall. Okay, so we will, I'm gonna put my projectile motion right here. This is the projectile motion. All right, so this is the distance that they will fall. This is gonna be 70 feet. And then they will hit the ground, hit the water. They will have two speeds, one along the y direction. And the second speed is gonna be along the x direction. All right, so they will have two final speeds. So the question is, okay, so the question is, what is the speed? Okay, let me just make it simpler. What is the, oh, this is still, what is the final speed in this direction? All right, let me move this. All right, uh, all right so they got a final speed in that direction. All right, so what is that speed? V is what we're looking for. Okay, that's not the best one. And then express it in terms of miles per hour. So that's what we we're looking for. Okay, so we need to do a few conversions. All right, 78 miles per hour meters per second. And then, okay, so somebody convert this to meters per second. And also I need this in terms of meters before we go any further. All right, guys, do the conversions and put the numbers on the side. So we got 78 meters, 78 miles per hour to meters per second and 70 feet to 70 feet to meters. Yeah, let me get this out of the way. Okay, guys, let's just focus on the, uh, the uh, let's focus on the problem. Just for now, we'll get back to those simple questions later. Mm. Okay, cool. All right, Rosanna says 35.45 meters per second. All right, this is 35. Okay, is it 35.45 or is it 34.82? Okay, 34.82, okay, I like that. It is 34.82. Okay, meters per second, and what do we have for 70 feet? That's 21.33, 21.33 meters. Okay, cool. All right, guys, give yourself five points for each. All right, so the next one is, how do we do the algebra? Okay, this paper is not gonna have enough room for me to kill it. Okay, so how do we do the algebra? Okay, so what I do normally is I'm gonna attack the problem head on. All right, so here's what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is located here. So I'm gonna redraw that and then I'm gonna build on it. So splash down is gonna be right here. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna have two speeds. You will have the Y component of the final speed and you will have the X component of the final speed. And then out of those two components, you will get the final speed. It's gonna be right here. 
Okay, so what that means is I can express this as a triangle. V is going to be my final speed. Here's the X component. X component happens to be that. Here's the Y component. I'm going to place the Y component right there. All right, so V is this one. Okay, so this becomes our triangle. Okay, so let's move that out of the way. This is the X component. So out of this triangle, okay, here's your hypotenuse, base the height. So what do you do? Straightforward, so it's gonna be V is gonna be X component squared plus the Y component squared. And then take the square root of both sides. Okay, that's said. Okay, so where do we get the X component? Where do we get the Y component and so forth? Okay, so this is sideways projectile motion. So we will have five equations available. This is the motion along the X direction. Final and initial speed along the X direction is not gonna change. Here's the motion along the Y direction. All right, so these are the equations available for this motion. So what do we do? Take a look at the motion along the X direction. Motion along the X direction does not change. Okay, so that's my starting point. So I'm gonna start to get into my substitutions. All right, so this one, I will go down. I know that this is the same as this. It doesn't change. Okay, how about this one? Okay, now let's take a look at the motion on the y direction. Uh, you can either use this equation or that equation. This equation you cannot use because you don't know the time, so this is no good. This is the only equation you can use because you know the distance from it. All right, so that's the equation. All right, so here's the y component. Okay, so what do we do? Back substitution, back substitution. All right, so I'm just gonna go sideways. All right, so the initial speed squared, and then we have two times g times the height. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop at this point, check to see if I have everything I need. Okay, so I got the initial speed, this is good. G, the motion is happening under the influence of G, gravity. It's still roughly about 10 meters per second squared. And then, you know, the initial speed, which is this. Okay, I got everything, guys. That's it. That is it. Okay, so that's the final formula. I'm going to box the final formula. All right, so into this formula, the numbers will go. Okay, so the numerical. All right, so the initial speed is 34.82. Square that. We got two times G, roughly about 10. Okay, so this one is a wiggle, it's not a number. Uh, times the height, the height is 21.33. All right, so multiply square root and that's it. All right, so give me the number. Oh, cool. Eric, give us our five points. It's 40.48 meters per second. Okay, lastly, it says convert the final speed to miles per hour and show work. That's what we need to do. All right, so let's do that. Final speed is going to be 40 point, what is it, 48 meters per second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply with the conversion factor. All right, so I'm going to go from meters per second to miles per hour. One meter per second is the same as 2.24 miles per hour. So the likeness will vanish. All right, so what do you got? 
90.7, it's about 91 miles per hour. Okay, so that's it. Cool. It's about 91 miles per hour. Okay, so now let me go back to a few questions. Okay, so I've done just about everything. Okay, guys, there's a couple of simple back substitutions. Number one, you end up getting a triangle, which is nice. X and the Y components, the hypotenuse is gonna be your total speed, so that's what you're looking for. It's located right there. And the X component of the motion is not gonna change. The Y component of the motion, gravity dictates that, so you end up using that. So you do two back substitutions, that's it. Okay, six out of 10 points will come from algebra, no numbers involved. Numerical is gonna be one point, whatever. Listing is gonna be two points. Okay, so the listing is crucial here. All right, so listing is crucial. Just follow the format. Having said that, um, Khan, how many points you cut off if we don't draw in listing and conversion section? Okay, um, it would be about one single point. Okay, because these things take meaning only within the structure of this drawing, right? Just get used to drawing things out. It's gonna make you guys think better. This is this means the height, obviously just looking at it, and this is the initial speed along the x direction. This mechanic is very visual, so get used to drawing things out. 